pump out here in Barona with snow from Rebolt Systems and also gas and go with snow. Gas and go with snow with the Hillbilly E or Hillbill E Deluxe. All right, so you gotta tell about what you got to do this because this is a freaking amazing looking truck and probably a sleeper on the track. What do you got yeah, going on? Yeah, she's definitely a sleeper. So what we did is we started with the Mustang and the Mustang is a really high dollar build. So then we get to the point where, hey, we're talking about it and I tell ADB, man, what if a working man wants to do this, man? He's like, you know what? We should do something simple. So I was like, well, what can we do? So ADB suggested a truck. I was like, okay. So I went on the hunt for a truck found a truck it was all rusted out here so we end up scrapping that one and i found this in texas okay so my friend chris and i we take off and she drives with me we go to texas we pull this out of a field guy had like 15 of them oh my gosh paid him fifteen hundred dollars for the truck and it's virtually rust free right so we get the truck drive it back and i sell the motor and transmission for thirteen hundred dollars so you're looking at a two hundred dollar <laughs> truck yeah, there you go right and in the course of you know building it Eddie B designed the four link, welded everything up under the back, right? And then we ended up dropping a Revo motor in here. Wow. So, you know, inside was pretty much stock. It's all controlled from an iPad on the dash, but you want to see what's under the hood? Absolutely. Let's look at it. We got to see the sleeper. This is what's under the hood. Boom. There you go. Almost nothing except that bad boy right there. Yeah. So that's 600 horse, and that's a, a thousand pound feet of torque. And I'm looking at this. It looks like this thing runs on cactus cooler. So uh, that's one of my favorite Absolutely. things. I guess I need to put that in my EV as yeah, well. Yeah, huh? you need to. That makes it faster. That's right. my catch can. It makes uh, it faster. I'm gonna have to make sure I get yeah. some cactus cooler in my uh, in my Tesla three here. Yeah. So I think uh, we're gonna have to set up a day where we come back out here Absolutely. and we race yours against mine. I'm ready for it. Yeah. yeah. It looks like we ran very similar times. So we're gonna have to this out similar. on the eighth and uh, go. Maybe I'll try to find a quarter mile track and see what happens. Let's do this against the Cybertruck. Cybertruck would be good. I feel this might be the Cybertruck going. I think we might. I think we might have a Cybertruck. <laughs> that Model 3, though, I don't know. Yeah, Model 3. We're going to try it out. We're gonna, yeah. We got to see that. That was very close times. Yeah. So, so you got this. Yeah. What's, tell me, what's, what's going on in the back here now? Oh, yeah. You definitely want to check out that. Because this the... All right. So again, This like seems I said, to be where all the weight is. Yeah. Now, I'm so, assuming this doesn't race with you. No, that doesn't okay. race with us. How about this? Now, the, I take that out, too. Okay, good. Okay. So the reason the solar panel is in there is... Normally, an EV will have an absence of an alternator, and what takes the place of that is a DC to DC converter. And what that does, it peels a little bit of that 400 volts off, turns it into 12 volts, and that's what runs all your accessories. Gotcha. Well, again, this I'm a disabled vet on a fixed income. I'm on a working man's budget. So what we did is we put the solar panel in here. The solar panel charges my 12 volt battery. Gotcha. Keeps all my lights going, brakes going, pumps that I have running going. And this this is the fastest battery pack in the whole world. Gotcha. This battery pack carried the little giant, the 444 car, to 359 miles an hour. Uh, that weighs 740 see? pounds. And notice it's in the middle of the wheelbase. I didn't tell you, it's, it's a sleeper bag. This is a sleeper for sure. Yeah. Very cool. So this actually comes out. Yep. So in other words, it charges up enough for you to race with all the dims and stuff. And oh, you yeah. have to get back up when you get off the track. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah. Now, see, this is, this is what... I love to see because, again, this drove down the street. No one knows it's an EV except they don't hear that exhaust. Exactly. But, again, the sleeper on the track. People are like, oh, look at that piece of junk. I can beat yeah. that, but no, no, no. Yeah. So, very, very cool. Yeah. Anything else we got to know about this bad boy? Well, the last thing, my very first drag race was against a 23 Corvette. Uh-oh. Oh, Corvette so, camp. Maddie, Maddie put a, a GoPro right here, and we got footage of the front of that Corvette during the race. It means you beat it, that's what it means. So it hate. means we beat it. All right, very cool. So loving this, loving the sticker on the back, stand back. Love the Texas truck yeah. license plate as well. Yeah. Very cool. The Hillbill E Deluxe. Revolt Systems. All yeah. right, Snow, thank you. Hey, thanks, man. I appreciate, appreciate you guys. Yep, the pup.com.